Good evening, John. Hope you're doing well, man. Hey, I got one here for you. This is New Glarus Brewing's Gyrator Doppelbach. Yes, New Glarus is back to bank and box. Love it. So there's quite a history on this beer, um, and I will post the link in the video to anyone whose name is not John. Also, if your name is not John, open that bottle. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, but I will post the article. It's from the Beer Baron that kind of out, lines out the history of how uh, this beer came to be over the last 10 years. Um, but anyway, this is uh, New Glarus' foray back into box style beers. I am super excited to try this thing. Let's get to it. There we go. Pop the top. Put that over there. And pouring into the double D tulip. Oh, yep. That is a beautiful deep caramel color. A little bit of a head. As you notice, I did not rough it up too bad. We'll hold this thing up to the light back here. If we can see. Uh, spin the glass a little bit. Where are we at? Look at that. Yeah, she's a beaut Clark. It comes out like, let me hold it up to the light up here too. So just so I can describe the color better. If you hold it directly in front of the light, it is an amazingly deep red. Looks beautiful. Um, Clarity is great through the light as well with lots of tiny bubbles and my head is dissipating to a bit of lacing around the outside of the glass here. But anyway, I digress. Stuff a nose in. Try not to get it wet. So the thing I think that's going to be a little different about this one is a lot of the traditional style German Doppelbox will taste very bready. And you'll have that note of like uh, bread yeast on the front end. This smells drier, if that makes any sense. Um, it doesn't have quite the bready sweetness smell to it, uh, but it does smell of kind of earthy malt notes. And there's a hint of that breadiness in the back, but it's kind of buried back in there. Um, let's take a taste and we'll see what happens here. Wow. Wow. This is really good. Um, taste follows nose. Earthy malts all the way through. Um, there is a touch of sweetness. You can detect a little bit of that caramel backbone to it, but it's really subdued. And this thing is quite dry on the back end. So it lends itself to a little bit more of the alcohol creeping to creeping through excuse me but it's not overpoweringly booze in any way shape or form really well balanced and let me just take another pull here yes yeah, so i think the interesting thing about this particular doppelbach is that it finishes a little bit drier than most of the other dopplers that i've had which tend to finish a touch sweet I don't think that's a detraction from the beer. I think this is kind of New Glarus's take on the style, which I'll be honest, is kind of refreshing. Yeah, this is really, really good. There's also a little bit of a, like a dark bready note to this. Yeah, it's really interesting how this one kind of cleans up. And I think that sets it apart. This is really, really good. I honestly cannot recommend this enough. This is probably, out of the American versions of Doppelbox that I've had, this one is right at the top of the list. So, fantastic beer from New Glarus. Um, can't say enough about it. New Glarus' Gyrator Doppelbach. Go get you some. Hope you're doing well, my friend. And as always, my good man, drink good beers. Have a good evening.